From the age of four, I started training and was picked up by a coach when I was six to start training on an Olympic track. My aspiration even then was to play the piano. I just knew that I had to play the piano. I spent the greater part of my youth till through college training hard to try to pursue that dream. I was three years old. We had a rumor in the house and he was going into the bathroom and I put a piece of paper underneath the bathroom door as he closed it and it closed on my finger. How could I play the piano with the first joint of my fourth finger missing? I was recruited to the University of Maryland and I blew out my ankle the next day. Although we don't want adversity and we rightfully avoid it, we can't really escape it. At least five or ten times a day, you're encountering adversity. Adversity will come to you just because you're alive. I blew out my knee, and then I had another ankle reconstruction after the fact. Adversity is the story of my life. The most adverse circumstance I ever encountered was the crash of 87, in which the markets fell 22% in one day. I did not think that would be possible. Everybody has got some capacity to take bad things and say, well, what can I make out of this? I said I could, and I did. As a physical therapist, I use my experiences from the past of having been injured or having been through difficult and trying times to relate better to my patients. Six months after I started playing, I entered a piano competition, won it, and actually played in Carnegie Hall. That was one of the moments in which we developed some of the most powerful financial control tools that we have put into managing our portfolios. The high points of my life thus far have occurred either directly as a result of a situation of adversity or despite a situation of adversity. Adversity forces you to develop resilience you would otherwise not have developed in life. It's okay for bad things to happen to you, to me, it's part of life. What can we make out of these experiences?